I'm Stephanie Lavery, Editor-in-Chief of Nail It Magazine, and I'm here as part of Beauty Collection's 12 Days of Holly Jolly Beauty. I'm here to share with you some of the hottest trends in holiday manicures. Glitters, always a favorite. Everybody loves them. They're great for holidays and the New Year. But let's not forget, metallics are super huge, as are jewel tones. Super pigmented, absolutely beautiful, great for any holiday manicure. But if you want to up the ante a little bit, I'm going to bring you two different nail art looks that are super easy and work great for any holiday occasion. So let's start with the glitter fade. This is a super easy design that is pretty much impossible to mess up but makes a great impact for a holiday manicure. So your first step is you're going to apply a very neutral cream polish to your nails, any color that you like. I've already done that here. The next step is to pick your favorite glitters. I'm choosing a magenta glitter and a sort of charcoal glitter. Yeah. And I'll use these together in my fade. The only tool that you'll really need for this is a cosmetic sponge. And you're gonna use this to dab the glitter onto the nail to create the fade. So the first step is after you've polished your nail, you're gonna take your glitter. So I've already polished this nail with my nude color. So now I'm gonna come in with my charcoal glitter. I like to work off of a palette. It makes the control a little bit easier rather than working out of the bottle. So I dump a little bit of polish onto my palette. And then I take my cosmetic sponge and I'm gonna gently dab it in to the, the polish on the palette. You wanna tap off the excess before you start putting it on your nail. Then you can start wherever you like on the nail. You can start at the cuticle or you could start at the free edge. I'm gonna start at the free edge. And you gently tap just along the edge of the nail. You kind of start in a French tip style where you're following the edge of the nail. Now in this design, the charcoal is just going to add a little bit of depth of color because it's a little bit darker than the magenta. Once you get the color the way you want it, you're going to go in with your next glitter. So I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to take a little bit of my magenta glitter polish and dab it onto the palette. then you take a different part of your sponge and you dab it in and again dab off the excess and then you're going to start applying it to the nail overlapping with the first color. more if you want a little bit more color and again dab it and then start working on your nail I like to gently dab towards the base so it looks like the color is sort of tapering off and the concentration of glitter is at the tip of your nail. And that's basically it. You're going to finish with top coat and you're good to go. This next design is a little bit more nail art heavy, yet super simple. And it's a great way for us in Southern California to bring a little snow to this time of year. So the first step is you're going to polish your nail white. Now I've already done that here. Then, you're gonna pick up a light blue polish and, again, your white. You're gonna use these to create a snowy effect on your nail. Now, again, I've already polished my nail white. That's the first step. Next, you're gonna take your blue, and, again, I like working off of a palette when I'm sponging. You're gonna dab some of the polish onto the palette. Then, you'll take your cosmetic sponge, once again, and you dab it into the polish, tap off the excess, and then you're just gonna start tapping the polish onto your nail in a random pattern. 
and you just keep applying until you get the depth of color that you want. The idea is for this to look sort of like a cloudy, snowy day. You really can't make a mess with this unless you get too much product on your sponge, but even then, because of the imperfect nature of this, you can just keep sponging it out for a cloudy, cloudy look. You're gonna take your white, and again, put a little bit on your palette. And you're gonna take a dotting tool that looks like this, has two ends. If you don't have a dotting tool, you can use a toothpick or a pin. And you're going to dab it into the white, and then you're gonna very gently tap little white dots onto your nail. And these little white dots make it look like snow. You can cover your whole nail. You could cover just the tip of your nail. I like to have the concentration of dots towards the end and less towards the cuticle because it makes it look sort of like that's where the snow is falling. If you really wanted to get fancy with this, you could pick up a rhinestone or maybe a little blue stone and apply it to the nail with a little bit of top coat. I hope you had fun trying these looks. You can find more holiday nail art looks at nailitmag.com or look for Nail It Magazine on the newsstands. And you can pick up all of your holiday manicure products and tools at Beauty Collection. Have a great holiday season and look forward to seeing your nail art.